Project Ready is a National Urban League college prep program, and we're implementing it here in Nashville. This is our fourth year uh, with Project Ready. The program um, works to do two things. It works to prepare students academically so that they can uh, do well in school, of course, but also score well on the college entrance exams, such as the ACT and SAT. The program also works to prepare students culturally and emotionally for the uh, transition from high school to college, from living with their families to living more independently. It's unfortunate that we have become a lot more complacent in our society, mainly because so much is given to them versus earned. Um, and as a result of that, they're, they're, they lack aspiration or lack desire. One thing that I found that we, uh, as a society, we have a problem with when it comes to our high school students is they're really just not prepared. Some kids have trouble reading, some kids have trouble doing simple mathematics, and those two core things are what help you through, through college and through life, period. I mean, if you can't balance a checkbook, you're going to be broke your whole life. Amongst my age group, we're lazy. Um, we don't like to do anything but watch TV and eat. So I just know we don't put a lot of effort into anything. And when it comes to school, we just think, okay, I'll go hang out with my friends. Whatever grade I make, I make. I think we have to start pretty early connecting young people with purpose, uh, or connecting people with purpose. And we have to allow young people to see beyond the now and to have a purpose of what I, how I see myself. Do I want to see myself in medicine? Do I want to see myself in law? Do I see myself as a nurse, as an educator? How do I see myself? Use a planner. Agenda. How many of you have, have an agenda? Are you supply you with agenda, right? No, you gotta pay for it. Really, if you're interested in going to college, it starts at the ninth and 10th grade level, but making sure that you start looking at the career exploration opportunities, start looking at the institutions you want to go to, visit those schools. My passion, my absolute passion is to see students in college because honestly, I think it's just too hard without it. It's just way too hard and it's one of those things it's one of those preventable difficulties. You can't make it in this world without education. Education is important. You can't get a good job without education unless you want to flip burgers for the rest of your life. That's really what I tell them. Just clean cut like that in short. You got need education to be successful. The Urban League also focuses on workforce development. And uh, for some, there may not be a clear link between educating young people and workforce development. But what we know and what is projected for the future is that um, most jobs uh, of the future will require, at a minimum, uh, some college experience. We also know, as we move toward being more green, that many of those jobs are in technology or science or the places where people are trying to work to discover uh, how this world can live uh, and be more efficient about how we use our natural resources. And certainly those require uh, additional education and additional skills and tools uh, beyond high school. About Candy, fantastic. He, he was guided. Have her come for an audition. The team, or the group that's working with them, they've done a great job at getting them ready to focus on leadership, to focus on change, to focus on conversation that's going to empower and impact their lives. What Project Ready seeks to do is promote more uh, than just uh, academic skills and ACT prep. We have to promote social care, we have to promote uh, qualities and characteristics that can carry them over when they're struggling in a math subject, if they have the desire and the, and the, and the skill of perseverance in them then math doesn't become so hard because for them, in their mind, they may not be that good at it, but they have a will and a desire to say, I have to continue to get better at this subject. I have to continue to push myself. One of the seven habits we learned, like begin with the end in mind sort of approach to things that I can't just goof around now and expect to be where I want to be later. 
I think some of the things the students are, are learning through the summer camp that are going to be very proficient for them, you know, we talked about the leadership skills. Dealing with conflict resolution is one of the biggest things I've seen with the students through the summer camp. We learned a lot about leadership and I want to be a leader, so it helped me not to be so afraid to speak out and speak my mind. After this week, I kind of learned that everyone has a little bit to offer when it comes to a team. And um, knowing that I know how to do stuff, it's better to listen to other people's ideas and give your ideas as well, and then put them all together to make one grand idea. Take way more notes. I don't take, I know, I know you need to take way more notes. I ain't only here to take that many notes for college. And really just pay attention. In, in two hour class, stay up the whole time. If you think you're gonna fall asleep, just start recording it because you're really gonna need to pay attention in college. And that's really what I learned. Take more notes, take a lot more notes and pay attention at all times. Sometimes in our lives, we all have pain. Let me see the clap. We all have sorrow, but if we are wise, we know that there's always tomorrow. Come on. appreciate the opportunity to work with your young people, um, to, to know them, to get to know them. Uh, we hope that you will see the value in what we're doing. This has been a fun camp. It's been one of those camps where not only they're learning, uh, but it's been some fun initiatives throughout the camp where they feel they can take a lot away from this camp and really apply the things they learn at this camp into their lives. The fact that this is a free program and we're learning so much in here on a college campus, seeing people doing it, you know, and living it um, is really important for kids. And so I personally appreciate the opportunity and I hope that everyone else a part of it does. I just want to thank the sponsors for sponsoring Urban League and everybody who's ahead of it. Just thank you for starting the program because it's really great and I'm looking forward to doing it next year. And to everybody that has been here the past three weeks, thank you guys for making an awesome experience and I just had a really good time. Well, to our sponsors, I would just like to thank you for everything that you've done for this program. It's a very good program and I've enjoyed it. I would say to our sponsors that we are extremely grateful um, that you have um, seen the opportunity to invest in young people in this way. I feel that we will come out of here with our chest out and our heads up high, with ready to start our school years off prepared and ready to take on any of the obstacles that our teachers or the kids in our high school have for us. And we're just gonna dominate our next couple years of high school. Don't be afraid to be great in whatever aspect of life you undertake, everything you do, be the best you can be at that. Because you never know who's watching, you never know what opportunities might be around the next corner. Just in the meantime, don't be afraid to be great. My message is choose to live above the rim. It's easy to live at the baseline, but choose to go above it. Choose to go above the baseline. I miss you guys, and thank you for the experience. The experience is great. Because when I first came in this, I thought I wasn't going to like it. I thought it was just going to be boring. Some stuck up guys and some ugly girls just sitting in the classroom just being bored. But I really had a lot of fun. I met, I met good friends like Terry and Delana and people, and people like that. I met a lot of good people. I just want to say thank you and uh, appreciate this experience because it doesn't come around all the time. To all my Project Ready students uh, who I've had the pleasure and the privilege to work with, I'm proud of you. I'm so proud of you that you guys have fought out through the long haul, you've stayed the entire three weeks, you've tried to learn as much as you possibly can, and you will take this back and, and, and develop these skills and develop the seeds that you've learned and, and hopefully translate them into positives uh, and to show the next person that's coming up behind you the same things that we're showing you. Everyone should have their kid in this program. It's a great three-week summer program. Uh, we need to expand this program, so we need more funders. We need more people to engage in this program. Uh, if your son and daughter is interested in the program, please get them involved. Call the Urban League. Get them engaged. Get them involved. We want this program to impact thousands 
of students in Metro Nashville. Anything else you'd like to add? I love Tierra, the counselor. I love her. Just want to say that. And thank you to Uncle Drew, a.k.a. Xavier. And that's, that's it. <laughs> Thank you.